Hi, my name is Sierra Cook and I am in Fundamental of Physics. Today I will be determining how weight affects the rotation speed of a paper helicopter. For this lab, you will need a roller, scissors, plenty of paper clips, and a sheet of paper. Here's a little half piece of paper that I have pre-cut that has the dimensions that you need to cut. If you see you need four inches away from this one side, you need about an inch cut into it, and your triangle needs to be about two inches. Make sure you cut on the side that opens because if not, you will end up with a little paper triangle. After you cut, your paper should end up looking like this. You need to fold the top slits in opposite directions and fold the two little side pieces in like this. And now you have your paper airplane ready to go. We're going to take one paper clip and add it to the bottom of the paper airplane and we are going to drop it. Now, that was just with one. We are now going to add a second paper clip to the bottom <clears throat> and drop it. That one stayed lifted just a little longer than the one before. And I am now adding a third paper clip to the bottom and dropping it. And that one stays in the air just a little longer. As we add the paper clips, there is more rotation to the helicopter, causing the uplift to be higher so the paper helicopter stays in the air just a little longer than with less paper clips. Everybody can do this at home. It's a very simple lab, your everyday uses, and have fun trying it out. 